Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm gonna show you the new version of MSI Afterburner 4.4.0 Beta 11. Uh, I will not show you how to overclock, I have another video on this, but uh, yeah, MSI Afterburner, you can use it uh, as a tool for just monitor your component in your PC, so uh, your load, megahertz, temp, whatever you, what you need to do. And also, for sure, you can overclock your v overclock, sorry, I'm French, <laughs> your uh, video card with the, uh, the uh, megahertz, or your core megahertz on your card, the megahertz on your memory, voltage, you can uh, set speed for your fan, you can do a lot of, uh, uh, increase the power limit, very important with AMD car, card. So yeah, that's about it. So I will show you the new feature that's really important on MSI Afterburner, the graph. So first of all, you need to choose uh, which um, which KPI, not KPI, but uh, which um, stats that you want to monitor. First of all, me, I want to monitor my temp on my GPU, my GPU usage. So each time you want to monitor something, you click on it, you click show in on-screen display, and you can select now text, graph, or text plus dra graph. This is new, this is the new part of the new beta. Uh, text, you will just only have like text. So for example, if you ask for a degree, you will just have a degree. But uh, if you select, for example, text plus graph, you will have a graph of your whatever, temp, megahertz, uh, FPS. And this is really nice because it's, it's easier to monitor if you have a problem. For example, uh, frame rate, you can monitor with a graph and you can see your drop frame easily. Same thing uh, with the megahertz or uh, whatever your load. Uh, really important when you want to uh, you want to know if you have some throttle issue with your CPU or even your GPU because of a uh, uh, problem with the temp. Temp is too high when you're playing a game. A lot of people don't know, but sometimes I have a friend. He has a, um, a laptop and his computer is throttling like crazy after an hour. He didn't know why he was losing a lot of FPS, but that was his issue. So we will need temp, GPU usage, core clock memory clock, so we're still on the GPU right now, frame rate, very important, frame time, after that, CPU temp, CPU usage, CPU clock, and RAM usage, after that, you just press OK, make sure that it's safe, and uh, yeah, whoops, sorry, one last thing, on-screen display, make sure that you toggle um, uh, a button on your... Uh, keyboard a key sorry not a button and uh for me it's page up so when i open a game i press page up i will see my stats uh at top left of my screen okay uh you can even change it if you don't want to be like uh top left for example here i will just select the number of fps and i will change it uh, I will put the link of the new MS Afterburner um, download link on my uh, video description. Uh, when you will download it, you will have MS Afterburner and you will have Revot Tuner Statistics Server. That uh, yeah, this is the thing that will combine with MS Afterburner to have all the statistics that you need on your game. Okay, so that's about it for here. Uh, all the stats now will be. I will open. Um, H1Z1 and I will explain you what is throttling and uh, what kind of statistic that you can see when you play a game. So let's start H1Z1. So this is the UI in game. Uh, pretty interesting. You can see my GPU uh, with the degree on it. So 72 right now, 73. The load on the GPU and the megahertz. Really important here. You don't want your video card to throttle or even your CPU. So you need to maintain a pretty decent uh, temperature on your uh, hardware to make sure that you're not throttling, okay? So throttle, what it means, it means that uh, when you're, you're, um, you will lose some megahertz on your video card because the video card need to lower its temp because it can maybe damage your video card. So for example, I don't know, I'm trying to overclock my card at uh, 1,400 megahertz. My, video, my GPU is going over 90. Maybe the video card will just slowly uh, slow down the megahertz to, uh, 1300 and the temp will go lower and i will lose performance in game and maybe i will have even some frame drop so you want you don't want that after that i have my uh, memory on my video car i just put it there because i will probably overclock it after uh the number of fps in game number of ms so the frame time uh, after that cpu the same thing degree the load of it and the megahertz on it and finally the ram 
the new feature that I was talking to you about is the um, uh, the graph. So now you can uh, see the graph FPS, megahertz, load. You you have to decide which one you want to uh, monitor. And after that, you can even record it. So that's pretty nice because you can see if you have some problem with throttling uh, after a long session of game. I don't know, two hours of uh, player unknown or H1Z1, whatever. And you can monitor all your uh, component on your computer. So that's all about it, guys. Uh, if you have any question, just post it in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, RAM, and your model. I can help you with the overclocking. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Peace.